Want anybody ready for overflow? Come on, stand on your feet this morning. Hallelujah. We're celebrating 55 years. Hallelujah. We thank God for what he's done. We thank God for what's to come. Hallelujah. Before we go into prayer and scripture, amen, we just want to meditate on him. Amen. And put our minds on him. We're grateful for all that he's done. We're grateful for who he is. We're grateful for where he's brought us and where he's taken us to. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just clap your hands and give him praise. Amen. God, we thank you. God, we glorify you. And we honor you. We thank you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows the plans he has for me. He knows the thoughts he thinks toward me and nothing is an accident I'm alive because there's more come on God God knows the plan he has for me he has for me he knows the thoughts he knows the thoughts he thinks towards me he thinks toward me and nothing Hallelujah, an accident. I'm alive because there's some more. Say, I'm alive. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an accident. I'm alive because there's some more. Oh, I'm excited about that church. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be alive today? Hallelujah. Come on, take it with us if you can. Here we go. God knows the plan. God knows the plan. He has for me. He has for me. He knows the thoughts. He thinks for me. That's it. And I'm about this and moment I'm alive, I'm alive because there's more say I'm alive. I'm alive that's it I'm alive I'm alive anybody glad I'm to be alive, alive. And this is and not it's not an accident I'm alive. I'm alive because there's more one more time say I'm alive
There's more. Ooh. Oh my God. There's so much more. I'm so glad. There's so much more. Eyes haven't seen. There's so much more. Ears haven't heard. There's so much more. Greatest on my life. There's so much more. Ooh. There is more. There is more. There is more. There is more. And you are not an accident. You're alive. Because there's more. Anybody know that more is coming? Get your hands in here. Woo, come on, lift your hands in here. Any grateful people say, I'm alive. I'm alive. you with us on this morning as we celebrate our church's 55th anniversary. Thanks be unto God for bringing us thus far. We know it wasn't anything that we have done, but it was only the grace of God. It was only because we serve the only wise living God. It was the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords that brought us this far. Psalms 24. 
which says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of, the, of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, yeah. that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is he? Who is this King of glory? Who is he? Who is he? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. <laughs> Jesus, we come thanking you for your grace and for your mercy, God. God, we come thanking you for allowing us once again to see another day, God. For allowing us to see yet another Sunday. And most of all, for allowing us to come into your presence this morning. Father, we have entered into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, God. Father, we come to bless your name this morning, God. We come to lift you up this morning, God. We come to give you glory, honor, and praise, God. We know we might have gone through a lot of things, but this morning, we come to lay it aside. This morning, we come to lift you up. This morning, we come to give you the glory, God. This morning, we come to honor you, God. For you and you alone are worthy to be praised, God. You and you alone are worthy of all the glory, God. And God, we want to thank you this morning for the man of God that's bringing forth the word, God. We thank you right now, God, for anointing him for your glory, God. We thank you right now, God, for strengthening him for the assignment, God. And God, we ask that you would send us a rhema word this morning, God. Send a word that suit is just for us, God. Send a word that fits just for us this morning, God. Send a word that's going to stabilize us even more this morning, God. Send a word, God, that's going to carry us through the week, God, in the name of Jesus. Send a right now word, God, that we can lean on, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless your people right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, as the praise singers come forth, God, and begin to lead us in praise and worship, God, we ask, God, that you would hoover in this place because you said in your word that you dwell, hallelujah, in the praises of your people, God. Now hoover in this room, God. Make your presence known in this room, God. Have your way in this room this morning, God. Say what you want to say here today, God. Do what you want to do in here today, God. Jesus' wonderful name, God. No other name we know, God. Whoever I be, it might be praised, God. And that wonderful name of Jesus. The name that we love, the name that's above all names. In your name we pray, God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, the Bible says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and then enter into his courts with praise. I want you to do me a favor. We're going to have testimony service just for about 30 seconds. I want you to do me a favor and look at somebody close to you and say, neighbor. Come on, look at him. Tell him, say, neighbor. Tell him, say, the Lord has been good to me. 
Tell them, say, because I'm alive, there is more. And since there's more, I will praise him. Do I have anybody in the room that's grateful that you're alive this morning? I said, anybody grateful that you're alive this morning? Somebody didn't wake up, but since we're here, we came to lift the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Just do me a favor and put this in the atmosphere and say, let the praise begin. Let the praise begin. Come on, clap your hands all over the sanctuary. Let's praise them this morning. Come on, let's do it. Come on, y'all know this one. This is the old one. Let's praise them this morning. Come on. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, the Lord is worthy. Here we go. So here we are. Let's get a one accord. Clap your hands with me. Leave all your problems on the outside. So be consumed. With the Holy Ghost fire, open up your mouth and lift the name of Jesus high. You say, for your blessing.
praise your name. We praise your name. Praise the Lord. One six up. We praise your name. Nobody like, 
Nobody like you. 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 Nobody like
Amen. At this time, we're going to ask that you stand to your feet. Amen. We want to make sure that you feel welcome in this place. Amen. Just wave at about five people that you didn't come with, five of your new friends. Amen. That you're going to meet and you're going to share. What a time when God's people come together. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Come on, let's get excited about being in the presence of the Lord. Those who are viewing with us online, we thank God because we know that there are many other churches that you could share with. Amen. But we thank God, amen, that you have chosen to be a part of our fellowship on today. And truly, we are we are thankful. We thank all of our visitors who have come to share with us on today. We, we thank God for the speaker of the hour. The Reverend Dr. J.N. Williams and Minister Williams, his wife, amen. We thank God for them being a part of our fellowship on today. At this time, we are up to our giving, amen, amen. Let's get that out of the way, amen. We told you uh, that, that we are not really asking for anything special, but somewhere other than your tithes, let's put a five on your giving. I don't care if it's a nickel. I don't care if it's $5. $15, $25, $500, or $5,000. Amen. Let's put a five somewhere, amen, that we might show in our worship, amen, of how good the Lord has been and how good he is. And so truly we thank God for all of you. Our credit card uh, and debit card machines are in the back. These men here up front will serve you. And we're going to ask that you stand at this time that we might bless those gifts amen that you have uh, brought to share in the kingdom on today everybody all over the building amen now what i'm going to ask today is a special day i want to make sure amen that everybody can participate and take part in our giving i don't want you to be embarrassed but if you don't have anything to give today just kind of wave your hand amen i'm going to make sure amen that everybody amen is able to plant a seed into the kingdom on today amen amen so everybody brought a gift everybody is ready amen everybody come expecting amen every head bowed all eyes closed lord we thank you we thank you for what you've done we thank you for what you're going to do now lord we pray as these gifts are brought to you these seeds are being planted we ask that you will give the increase we ask that you would touch their lives in such a way that they would know that you are God and beside you there is no other. Amen. We thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All over the building, we're going to ask that you will come. Amen. And bring your gifts at this time. What a mighty God we serve. David want us to know, amen, that you ought to give, amen, that it ought to touch your lifestyle. Darkness seems to want us to know that if it's convenient, then it's not worship. Searching and so today we come to worship him. Where to, where to go next? Go next. And, and who can I trust? No one, no one but well, that's you. that's the kind of God we serve. I can see the light. I can see the light. I can see the light coming. I can see the light coming. I can see the light. I can see the light coming. I can see the light coming. The Lord wants us to know He's looking for a cheerful giver. Your word will come to pass. I can see the light. I can see the light. I can see the light coming. Shine your, shine your light, your light on us. Shine your light, Jesus. Oh, shine, shine your light, your, your light on us. Shine your, shine your light, Jesus. One more time, so oh, fifty-five shine years. Your light, your light on us. Shine your, shine your light, Jesus. Jesus. For the light, God. Even in a dark place. Fifty-five years of ups and downs, but God is still God. I can see the light. I can see the light. I can see the light. See the light coming. See the light. We want to thank all of you, our visitors, members. We thank you for your commitment and your faithfulness. Those who are tuning in with us on Facebook, we thank God for you. Amen. I can see the light. I can see the 
Back in the hands of our music department. See the light coming. I can see the light. I can see the light. I can see the light, I can see the light coming. I can see the light. Sing it for life. 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 It won't last. It won't last. It won't last. It won't last. Hallelujah. Amen. This song here simply sums up, amen, 55 years. Amen. A spiritual number of change, positive change. Amen. And God has set us up for that in this time that we're in, this season that we're in. Hallelujah. We thank him for what's to come and for what he's done. Hallelujah. When I look back over my life, I see all that the Lord has done. Now every victory that is won. When I was lacking financially, he stepped in and provided for me. When the storm was raging out of control, he stepped in and made me whole. Seemed like I couldn't go on. He stepped in and made me strong. Is that your testimony? If I can sum it up, he's been everything. Yeah. Everything to me. Time after time again. My God, it's been every, every, every. Everything, yeah. everything to me. Oh yes, He's been a provider, yes sir. Way maker, mighty deliverer. Shouldn't have been a hard fixer. He's been my way in, yes, he has. And he's shown up in my way out of many circumstances. He's been my joy in the midst of sorrow. Woo. Even when I had depression all around me, he's been hope for tomorrow. I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus. Yeah. Can't keep talking about him because something may happen. I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus. Come on, can you help me call him? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and call him. What's his name? Jesus. The more I call him, the better I feel. Jesus. He never forsaken me, no. Jesus. I found him to be a healer. Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Jesus. 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 Burden bearer. Jesus. Heart fixer. Jesus. Jesus. Never later. Jesus. on my back. Jesus. Roof over my head. Jesus. Shout. 
some miracle signs and wonders. You You wasn't holding on to the end of the rope. There was really no rope left. I'm talking about miracle signs and wonders. The eviction notice wasn't on your door. You didn't even have a door to put the eviction notice on. Miracle signs and wonders. But right in the nick of time, we're moving. God showed up out of nowhere. Jesus. And turned your nothing into something. something That's why I love calling your name, Jesus. Last time, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ooh. Sweet as the day goes Jesus, by. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's sing it together, church. Something happens. Something happens. It's guaranteed to happen when I call you. Now, come on, somebody open your mouth as you got a little Holy Ghost, a little anointing deep down in your belly, and open your mouth and clap your hands and just call them right where you are. Come on, we just going to church for about five, about five seconds. We're going on to the preacher. I here. Yeah. Come on, this for the church and folk right here. God is, God is my everything. God is my everything. He's my joy. He's my joy in sorrow. I found him to be my hope. He's my hope for tomorrow. Can you testify? He's my rock. He's my rock. In the God is God is God is God is my everything. Yeah, my everything, 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 my everything. Show me your song, my everything. From tomorrow, my everything. Right when I call him, I 
Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. We 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 bless the Lord. Amen. 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 I. Hey. Amen. Amen. We we excited about what the Lord. Amen. Is doing. Amen. We thank God. Amen. 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 I'm a, come on. Come on. Let, stand to your feet. Amen. We want you to keep this same excitement. Amen. And let us receive the speaker of the hour, Dr. J.N. Williams, with a big amen. Amen. Let us receive him as he comes. Amen. Amen. 50, 55 years. Amen. Amen. We thank God. I wish I had at least 10 people here who can look back over your life and say if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Now the rest of you sophisticated folk, you can be quiet, but I think there are at least 10 of us in here who say after 55 years, I owe God 55 years worth of praise. I need you to open your mouth, do your dance, shout your shout, but let everything. Come on, I ain't gonna stop you. Go ahead and bless it. You got a right to bless it. You got a right to bless it. Come on, y'all looking. I need somebody to clap their hands.
wonder can you praise him without the music because the last time God delivered you you didn't have a band the last time God healed you you didn't have a praise team I wish I had somebody here who can give God a praise like you were in your living room and ain't nobody else around but That's what he wants to hear. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. Mm. Father, if you don't do anything else, You've already done enough. And so for the 55th anniversary, we lift our hands and open our mouth and say thank you for just being so good. We don't have to ask you to come because you're already here. Now speak. Your people didn't just show up just to show up. Lord, we need a word from you on today. Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. When you finish speaking, we'll be quick and careful to give your name the praise, honor, and the glory. It's in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, we pray. And they all said, Amen. Come on, clap your hands and bless the Lord in this house. You can be seated if you can. Hmm. There's a sweet spirit in this place. trying to move past it, but I don't want to get in the way of the Holy Ghost. Uh, mm -mm. Somebody, you hadn't been to church and I don't want to stop you from getting your praise out. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Jesus. 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 There is something about that name. Master. Savior. Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim kings and kingdoms they will all pass away but there's something about about that name honor the presence of the Lord and to him that we live, move, and have our being. 
Would you help me celebrate the angel of this aggregation, the Moses of this mountain, this great man of God, Pastor Harvey Walker. Come on, let's thank God for him. That's right, come on. Bless you, sir. Hallelujah. I teach everywhere I go, learn how to celebrate leadership and not tolerate leadership. When your pastor walks through the door, you ought to get excited. Because that's God's man for your life. Let's try it again. Let's thank God for Pastor Walker. God bless you. ministry for years since both of us had hair and it was St. Luke first and look at what the Lord has done thank you sir and uh, you get to hear him every Sunday so you're blessed and to the lady of this house God bless you say behind every good man is a good woman. That's a lie. Beside every good man. He may wear the pants, but she makes sure that they're creased and ironed. You'll catch that tomorrow. I want to thank God for my date for the evening, my girlfriend, my baby mama without the drama. Would you help me celebrate my best friend and my wife, the Reverend Mrs. Tamara Williams. Come on, stand up here. I know we're in church, but I feel a Stevie Wonder the spirit. Isn't she lovely? Yeah. Yes, yes. At the Lord's will, this Tuesday, we will be celebrating eight years of marriage. We're still newlyweds, so pray with us. To all of the reverend clergy around this place, to you, my father's children, grace and peace be one to you. Happy birthday to you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I, I, I told Pastor Walker in the office, I don't know what I did to him. Um, I don't know how I upset him because he put Pastor Kenneth Campbell at 8 o'clock. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, Pastor, Pastor Kenneth Campbell is a preaching machine. You're blessed. I was blessed by watching online. And then you try to, I don't, I don't know what I did, but I'll make it up. Just... Just, just pray. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amen. Some of you in the back of your mind, you're sitting here looking at me. In the back of your mind, you're wondering, can he preach? I have to be honest. I'm standing here looking at many of you, and I'm wondering, can y'all pray? Let's go half on this. You pray. I'll preach. But if you don't pray, I got a pretty loud partner to my immediate left. <laughs> Hallelujah. While you're standing, there is a word from the Lord today. If you have your Bibles, uh, your copy of the Bible, uh, turn with me to the gospel of Jesus Christ recorded by Mark. Mark chapter number 10. Mark chapter 10. And uh, while you're getting Mark chapter 10, those of you who are watching online, God bless you and keep you. Thank you. Mark chapter 10, our preaching text is verses 46 through 52, but for the sake of brevity, we want to read verse number 47. When you have it, say, I have it. If you don't have it, say, I don't have it. And if you ain't going to get it, just say, go on, preacher. Okay, no hard feelings. All right, all right, we good. All right, we cool. Mark chapter 10. Verse number 47, and by preference or preference alone, I'm reading from the New International Version of the Holy Writ, same destination, different vehicle. It says, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Amen, that's good. 
I want to preach this passage as don't miss your moment. You may be seated. Don't miss your moment. Those of you who are online, please type it in the comments. Those of you who are here, please say, I thought after us, don't miss your moment. All right, that was about five of y'all. Can I get 100% class participation? Let's say it again. Don't miss your moment. I mentioned I live by bread and lumber Bible word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Some time ago, I was invited to do a radio interview for a prominent radio station. And as I was sitting in the studio waiting for the interview, a irate patron stormed through the door of the studio and began to go on a tirade. He talked about how he was scheduled to air his commercial on the air, but for some reason, the commercial did not air. The owner of the company and the DJ who invited me calmed the man down and said, yes, you did agree to have your commercial on the air. But what you forgot was our agreement also said you have to be here at this particular time. And so here you are 45 minutes late, which means you missed your window. Now, brothers and sisters, there are many of us today Life throws opportunities at us. And because we don't take advantage of the opportunity, we miss our window. It was 1989, the deceased actor by the name of Robin Williams played in a movie called Dead Poets Society. He portrayed an English teacher in a preparatory school. And at the end of each class, he would charge his students to carpe diem. Carpe diem is the Latin phrase that means seize the day. My brothers and sisters, I am confirmed and convinced that when opportunities present themselves, then they must be maximized. This is what Mark was trying to portray to us in Mark chapter number 10 because Jesus was making a beeline for Jerusalem. He had passed through many other cities, and now the text says in verse number 46 that he passes through a city called Jericho. You and I are familiar with Jericho from Joshua chapter 6 because in Joshua chapter 6, the text says that the Lord told Joshua and his men, march around Jericho one, day, one time six days, and then on the seventh day, I want you to march around seven times, and after you march around seven times I want you to shout you know what happened when they shout the text says that the walls of Jericho came tumbling down and so here it is now Herod has rebuilt the city it's a it's a nice industrious city but it also has some things in it that are not so nice to the point where Jesus goes through Jericho and the text does not give us in Mark why he goes through Jericho but Matthew gives us an inclination of why he does because when he gets through Jericho he meets this no good tax collector by the name of Zacchaeus he calls Zacchaeus down from a sycamore tree into his house and into the kingdom and after he passes uh, Zacchaeus he now exits Jericho and as he's exiting Jericho the road that he's on is not a paved road it's not a glorious road it's not like a road in the suburbs it's a red dirt clay road anything can happen on Jericho road acts the good Samaritan and the text says that when Jesus exits Jericho something happens the moment is now presented to somebody who needs Jesus to come where they are. And may I suggest Crossing Church on this 55th anniversary that Jesus is passing somebody by. He stopped to where you are because uh, no, you're not in the primest of places because some of us can attest we're in a bad spot right now, especially since this pandemic hit. We're in a bad spot. Uh, my finances are fuzzy. My friends are frizzled and I know need somebody to come to where I am and open a door for me because I'm tired of where I am. The text says that Jesus, see, he passes by and when he passes by, a crowd follows him. Isn't it amazing? As long as Jesus is doing stuff, you've got a crowd. But the moment he starts rebuking and setting order, folks are dissipating and dissolving. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. God, Jesus has to say unto them, listen, 
listen, you must understand if you're going to follow me, you've got to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. And so the text says that as he exits, the crowd is, is allowed with him. It's a noisy crowd. But the thing I like about this is, again, that an opportunity has presented itself. And I drove all the way from Pearland to the Crossing Church to tell somebody that your opportunity has just presented itself. You wrote it down. You fasted on it. You prayed about it. You sowed into it. Folks said it wouldn't happen. But you serve a God who is not a God of closed doors, but a God. Is there anybody here who knows that I serve a God who can open doors that no man can shut? But then at the same time, he can close doors that no man can open. Preach, man. The text, the text says that while he passes, the opportunity presents itself. So my brothers and sisters, the question of the text is, what do you do when the opportunity presents itself? What do you do when your moment comes? You can't shout because you closed your Bible. I'm from all the independent school district. I've learned to dot every I and cross every T. And so let me give you what the text suggests to us. And I promise I'll bid you farewell. In order for us not to miss our moment, the first thing we have to do is petition properly. We have to petition properly. Where are you, man of God? I'm in verse number 46 and verse 47. Because the text says he's going out of Jericho. There's a crowd following behind him. But the good thing about the crowd, they make enough noise. So there's a man sitting on the roadside can hear what's going on. There's a blind man. Let the church say blind man. There's a blind man named Bartimaeus. He doesn't even have a name. He's just the son of Timaeus. Timaeus Jr., if you will. He's sitting on the roadside. He's blind and he's a beggar. No, there is no snap. No, there is no Obamacare. No, there is no wick. No, there are no food stamps. No, there is no government assistance. No, there is no PPE loans. He has to fend for himself. And the text suggests to us that he has enough faith. I like this because... It is said that when one of your senses no longer operate, the other senses begin to heighten up. I like this because even though the man couldn't see, he still had some hearing. And I'm preaching to somebody here. You may not be able to see God. You may not be able to feel God. You may not be able to touch God. But I heard Paul say, tell him, faith don't come by your shouting. Faith don't come by your dancing. But faith comes by hearing. Is there anybody here who say, I ain't seen God, but I can still hear him? Uh, says that he, he, he hears that Jesus is passing through and so the text says uh, as a consequence of his, of his petition what he does first is uh, he assesses the situation. Uh, you can't shout because you close your Bible. The word says that he hears uh, that, the, that the crowd is saying Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. So after he assesses the situation then he applies supplication for the word says uh, don't, 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 don't be fearful. Brace yourself. The word does not say uh, that he talks it out. But the passage proclaims to us uh, that he shouts it out. He says, Jesus! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Son of David, have mercy on me. He, he begins to cry out unto the Lord. And I know I'm dealing with some sophisticated saints uh, in the room today, but if I have any desperate folk in here, you ain't got time to be cute in your prayer. You ain't got time to be poised and proper. You need God to do something yesterday. You need God to deliver you last month. And I didn't come here on the 55th anniversary just to sit here and look state and sagacious. But I'm saying, Lord, here I come just as I am without one plea. Is there anybody here who can cry out, Jesus? The word says that he, he, he applies the supplication, but also he acknowledges the subscription or, or, the, spec, or the specification. Where are you preaching? Because the, the crowd, I like this, you got to pay attention, because the crowd disrespects Jesus. But Bartimaeus appreciates him. Look at what the text says. The crowd calls him Jesus of Nazareth. The blind man says Jesus, son of David. One more time for the folk in the balcony. Uh, the crowd calls him Jesus of Nazareth. The blind man calls him Jesus, son of David. Uh, my pastor said it today, third time the charm. The crowd said, 
Uh, they called him Jesus of Nazareth. But the blind man said, no, he's Jesus, son of David. In other words, he's not Jesus from the hood, but he is Je Jesus, the Messiah, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And you can't talk to God just any kind of way, like he's your homeboy and you need a hookup. But every now and then, uh, you got to call him what he is. Is there anybody here who knows how to call him Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah sick and newer, you gotta stroke his ego huh, and call him what he is. Uh, uh, the text says, the text says, the text says that 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 he 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 he, he, he petitions properly. But not only does he petition properly, but number two, he persists passionately. Uh, uh, where, where are you, man of God? I went all the way down to verse number 47, 48. Because in verse number 48, the text says to us that when the crowd mm -hmm, heard him saying something, the text says uh, that they began to rebuke him. Mm -hmm. Watch this, y'all. Some of us in here would get our blessing sooner than later if we stop focusing on the wrong people. Okay. Some of us in here showed up on a Sunday morning. The praise team ushered us into the presence of the Lord and you just sat there. Scriptures were read and you just sat there. Prayers, prayers were lifted and you just sat there. People start dancing and shouting and you just sat there. And my question is if you're going to sit here and look like a, a statue in a museum what did you come here for? And let me tell you why you did it. It's because while you were trying to shout you were looking around at everybody seeing who's watching you. Uh, to hell with them Negroes. Uh, I didn't come here for them. Uh, I came here for him. Is there anybody here on this side who can testify? You can look at me stupid as you want to, uh, but I came for deliverance. Uh, deliverance I shall receive. Uh, he told me he delivered me, and that's what I believe. I got to go. Uh, the he, 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 number one, he ignores criticism. He, you got to learn to ignore criticism. Uh, you got to be careful about everybody in your ear. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, while you got everybody in your ear, the Lord stops talking. Because I'm not going to compete with them for your attention. I'll shut my mouth and let you listen to folk who ain't never had a victory. I'll let you listen to folk who always got drama, always got issues. But I need somebody here who can tell your distractions. Shut your mouth. Because right in the moment of my life, I need God to talk to me. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Watch this. Watch this. He he ignores criticism. But 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 I like this. He intensifies his cry. Okay? Okay, this this oh God. I'm sorry, Pastor Walter, but this 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 ain't for everybody. But I, I know we trying to social distance. But I, I need at least eight of us in here. What, what, what do you need us to do? If you need God to do a miracle for you, by the time tonight is over with, God says, "How desperate is your praise? How desperate is your worship? Are you willing to stand up this morning and open your mouth and forget about everybody else? Are you willing to get out in the aisle? Are you willing to run around?" around this building? Are you willing uh, to give your last to God? Are you willing uh, to say all to Jesus? I surrender. Watch this. In order to get something you never had, uh, you got to do something you've never done. Uh, I need 22 of us in here who never shouted before, who never praised like this before, to open up your mouth uh, and give God uh, and I'm desperate praying. Is that all you got? Come on. You need God to save your child. You need God to give you a job. You need God to fix your finances. You need God to heal your body. You ain't got time to worry about distractions. The more they tell you don't cry, the louder you ought to get. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh God. Somebody prophesy, I'm gonna get mine today. Come on, that ain't everybody. If you talk, if you're serious, open up your mouth and tell hell, I'm gonna get mine today. 
I don't care what you do to me. I don't care what my husband doing. I don't care what my daughter doing. I refuse to let go. Pass me not on gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry wow. Hold up as thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Uh, you may be seated. I got to go. I got to go. I see that do not disturb sound with your face. I got to go. The word says he intensifies his cry. But then, watch this. He iterates the compassion. He invokes the compassion. He says, Jesus, son of David, watch this. I don't need a Mercedes. I need mercy. I don't need a man. I need mercy. I don't need money. I need mercy. I don't need Negroes. I need mercy. And maybe I'm in the wrong house to preach this. I'll go back to Baytown and do it. But I wish I had 10 of us in here who could say on this Sunday morning, I don't need nothing tangible, but I need God to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing. My daddy needs to be set free. My mama needs to be healed. And I came today pulling on God because I'm desperate. I need mercy. I need mercy. That word mercy in the Greek is elio. What it literally suggests is I need you to sympathize with me. I need you to feel as if you were in my shoes. That's why I like Jesus. Because the writer of Hebrews says that we don't have a high priest who cannot be touched with our infirmity. But we do have a high priest who was tempted on all part. Break that down. Rub it in like being gay pastor. What I'm trying to say to you is Jesus knows what you're going through. And sooner or later, if you keep crying out, it's gonna turn in your favor. I'm 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 done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for letting me come. Uh, I, I'm like I feel like Don Cornelius. Let's do this again sometime. Uh, but can I give you one more thing? And I promise I'm out the door. Uh, if, if 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 you're gonna maximize your moment, if, if you're gonna maximize your moment, the last thing you need to do after you persist passionately, here's your shout cue. You're gonna progress productively. Uh, uh, church folk don't know when to shout. Uh, did y'all cut me off? Let me try it again. You, you're gonna you're gonna progress productively. Uh, wh wh where are you, man of God? You got to go down to verse 51 and 52 because the word says that after he kept on crying, some things happened and I'm out the door. The first thing is his fervor stopped the movement. Because text says, uh, Jesus stopped walking. Mm. Oh God, that's the kind of faith I want. I want the kind of faith that can stop Jesus from what he's doing and pay attention to me. I need somebody here who can say, I need that kind of faith uh, that God will stop heaven and earth uh, just to come to my bedroom. I need, I need that kind of faith uh, that God can come down from the sky. If Big Mama was here, she would say it like this. He'll come down from the sky. Wipe the tears from your eyes. You're his child and he cares for you. The word says that he stopped but there's something I need you to pay attention to y'all because the word says that Jesus says to the crowd, call him. Okay, uh, I went too fast. Let me try it again. Uh, the word says that he says to the crowd, call him. Okay, third time the charm. You got wax in your left ear. Let's try it on your right. The Bible says that, the, that Christ says to the crowd, call him. Watch this. I told you to ignore your critics, but don't dismiss your critics. And the reason why you don't dismiss them is because the same people that hurt you are going to have to help you before it's all said and done. That's why you, God didn't answer that prayer. You asked God to get rid of your haters, and he didn't. You asked God to get rid of your enemies, and he didn't. You want to know why? Because David said, tell him, he prepares a table before me. Watch this in the presence of my enemies. Let me prophesy over somebody here today that before the summer hit, Every enemy that puts your name out there has got to give you the promotion. Every enemy that put that name on your daughter, every enemy that put that name on your marriage, God says the same folk that had to, that hurt you, they gonna have to come back and help you. Watch this. He, he, he says he says to them. Uh, call him. Mm -hmm. Now, now Jesus could have just stopped right there and, and, and spoke the word, but, but the text says that, that Jesus says call him, which means, check this out, that he's got to move from where he was to where the Lord wants him to be. 
some of us are too lazy when it comes to miracles because we want God to do all the work. But baby, you're going to have to put in on this. That's what Smokey told Craig. You're going to have to put in on this. You're going to have to put some work in. You're going to have to pay some tithes. You're going to have to fast and pray. Look at y'all ain't saying nothing. You're going to have to come to Bible study online. You're going to have to stop being so messy. You're going to have to stop entertaining foolishness. There are some things you're going to have to do to crucify your flesh in order to get what God has for you. The word said that he, he called him, and, and the crowd says, uh, get up on your feet. Uh, he, he's calling you. Now, the text says, watch this. The Bible says that he, the word said that it's very important that you pay attention to the text because everything in the text is so intricate. The word says that the man dropped his cloak. Uh, watch, watch, watch this. He discarded his cloak. Uh, that, why that's so important. That's why I think I like preaching here because y'all asking all the right questions. Uh, this this man this man has what I call a Linus complex. Linus complex. What is that? Uh, if you ever read uh, Charlie Brown cartoons, uh, Charlie Brown has a friend named Linus. Uh, Linus is a Christian and somewhat of a theologian. But every time we see Linus, uh, Linus always has a blanket. Uh huh. That blanket follows him everywhere he goes. It goes with him to the bathroom. It goes to see the great pumpkin. It goes to visit Snoopy. And if, and somebody told him, you need to get rid of that blanket. But every time somebody tried to take it from him, Linus, the, 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 the saint in Linus would sit down. And the third ward in Linus would stand up. And some of y'all in here, God has been trying to deliver you from some of your Linuses. He's called your baby daddy. He's called your mama. Your Linus is your co-worker. Your Linus is your best friend. There comes a time in your life where you got to drop it like it's hot. You got to lay aside every weight. I need somebody here. You got mad because you sit next to your security blanket. But God says if you want to get what you need you got to learn to let some things go. I'm, I'm, I'm going, he, he drops his cloak and the text says watch this. The word says that he comes to Jesus. Here's my problem with that text. He, he comes to Jesus. Here's my problem. He's blind. Let that marinate for just one second. He comes to Jesus, but he's blind. How can a blind man get to where he's never been? You're asking all the right questions. Because the same folk who hurt him, the same folk who hindered him, now have to help him get to Jesus. May I speak over your house that everybody who tried to hinder your house has now got to push you to where the Lord wants you to be. They ain't going to like it. They're going to be mad while they're doing it. But God said, I've allowed your enemies to be your next vehicle for your elevation. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. The word says, he, 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 yes, Lord. His, 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 his fervor stopped the movement. But then his faith sprouted the miracle. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? He says, well, oh, I just, I just got something. Hold up. He says, uh, what do you want me to do for you? Church folk don't know when to shout. Uh, let, me, let me try it again. Uh, Jesus said to the man, what do you want me to do for you? Baby, that's a blank check. And it's paid to the amount of ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. The reason why you can't cash your check, James says, tell him, you have not because you are. He, he says, what do you want me to do for you? And I don't know who, 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 please, please, please don't, please don't offend your neighbor when I tell you what I'm about to tell you. You might want to move away from your neighbor because they've been answered since I got up here. But can I tell you something? God says, I just opened you a, a blank check. My, my, my response to you is, you've been praying for 40 days. You've been fasting for 21 days. God says, what do you want me to do for you? Some folk don't know when to get happy because you need God to do so much much. God said, whatever you need me to do, the cattle of a thousand hills belongs to me and the hill that the cattle of is there anybody here who knows we serve a God who can do exceedingly, abundantly, and above. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, he, his faith 
sprouted the miracle. He said, I just want to see again. Uh-oh. I, I know I'm taking too much time. Please forgive me, y'all. I, I, I learned, blessed are those who are brief. They shall be invited back. But I got to rub this in like me, gay. Because the word says that the man said, I want to see again. Meaning that there was one time he had vision. But now, I want to have vision again. Why Bartimaeus? Because without vision, y'all ain't read the Bible. <laughs> The people perish. Uh, I, I need to see again. I, I want to be able to see green grass. I want to be able to see my family. I want to be able to see my haters. I want to be able to see the glory of God. And I can't do it where I am. So I need God to restore my sight. He, he restores his sight. The word says, Jesus says to him, go. I'm done. He says, go. Your faith has healed you. Check this out. And as he moved, the miracle happened. Okay, one more time. It says, as he moved, the miracle happened. Uh, baby and I, one day, we went to the post office, and uh, we went to the post office, and when we went to the post office, uh, there was a sign on the door said, automatic door, keep moving. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, y'all pray for me. I ain't always been, you know. Uh, it said, automatic door, keep moving. I just stood there. Uh, my, my wife looked at me like she normally does. Oh, boy, this help this boy. But, but the sign said, automatic door, keep moving. I'm like, okay. You're not going to open, but I didn't understand. It's not till I move that the door starts opening. Some of you ain't made your move yet. And because you ain't made your move, the door's not going to open. You don't have to see how God's going to do it. All you got to do is trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy. I need somebody here who can say where he leads me. Uh, oh. to go, but there's one more thing, and, 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 and I'm, I'm out here. Y- y'all gonna help me close this, right? Uh, the, the, the text says that that that, that after uh-huh, uh, his, his faith sprouted the miracle, then the last thing is his fidelity mm-hmm, supported the master, uh, because Jesus said go, but the man perceived go as follow. <laughs> okay. What that means is, when he saw what Jesus did for him, He didn't have time to go back home. But what he did was uh, he followed Jesus wherever he went. When God has done something for you, you ain't got time uh, to, to show it to everybody else. Because uh, some folk didn't believe it. And the truth be told, uh, some folk not going to shout with you anyway. I got to get out of here, y'all. But in my neighborhood, let's roll, y'all. But in my neighborhood, uh, when I was getting out of my car one day, there was some kids in the neighborhood playing with a straight cat. And I said, "Uh, is that your cat? They said, no, this is a stray cat. But we saw it look all decrepit. We saw it look poor. And so what we did was we began to feed the cat. I went in my house and the very next day I saw the mother of the children and I said to the mama congratulations on your new pet she looked at me with a scooby doo look said what kind of pet do I have she said, and I told her I saw your children yesterday playing with a stray cat and she said oh my god I told my children not to feed that cat so after I got home the next day early in the morning and then late at night I heard a cat meowing I was trying to get my sleep on I was trying to get my slobber on but I heard that cat early in the morning and in the middle of the night he began to meow in the whole neighborhood some people got upset at the cat some people got perturbed at the cat but then I learned a lesson from my grandmother whenever you feed something that's a stray it now becomes devoted to you I don't know about you but one day I was a stray sinner on my way to hell no God on my side no heaven in my view but one day the Lord stopped by where I was and I told him what grandmama said Bread of heaven, I can't hear nobody. Bread of heaven, 
me till I want no more. And I came, I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach this. Wound and sad. But I found in him a resting place. And he had made me glad. So I, I came to tell you on a Sunday morning since God has been good to me. It doesn't matter what my enemies say. It doesn't matter what my haters say. The Lord, yes sir, has been good to me. Is there anybody in the cross in the day can say, Lord, you've been good to me. When I think about where you brought me from, when I think of what you brought me through, I can lift my hands and say, by the grace, by the grace of the Lord, I come a long way. Is there anybody in the Lord's house? No, the Lord been good to you. So I the redeemer of the Lord to open my mouth and say something if it made a way you ought to say something if it dried your tears you ought to say something if he healed your body you ought to say something y'all look at but hey listen somebody say why should I say something you're asking all the right questions if the Lord don't do anything else he's already done in the on a hill on a hill called Calvary Jesus paid my price he died or didn't he die put him in a bar of two stayed in the grave just long enough to take the sting out of death and the victory from the grave and I Shut it down. If you're not too mean to do it, take one hand, put it on your heart, and the other hand, put it on your hand. You're looking, but ain't listening. Put one hand on your heart, and the other hand on your hand. And if your neighbor looks at you funny, say, neighbor, the reason why I got one hand on my heart and another hand on my hand is because when I think when I think of the goodness of Jesus he done for me my soul cries out hallelujah hallelujah ain't it alright But help me sit down now. You ain't gotta touch nobody. But look somebody in my eye and say, neighbor, come on, talk to your mask. Say, neighbor, I can't sit here and be quiet anymore. But this is my moment for my miracle. This is my moment for my blessing. This is my moment for deliverance. And I can't be quiet, but I gotta open my mouth and say something, say something, say something, say something, say something, say something. yeah! <laughs> 
those little churches open. What a word, what a word, what a word, what a preacher, what a preacher, what a man of God. I woke up this morning expecting God to do something awesome in this place. And he allowed these two men to pass by. And drop a word into our spirit. But I'm sure that all of us can testify that I'm, I'm a little better now. What a word. As he sing, you might be in a place of darkness. You might have more questions than answers. You might feel like you're, you're running this race by yourself. Or maybe you just need a closer walk with the Lord. But whatever your need is today, there's no secret what the Lord can do. You ought to come today.
unexplainable, unconditional love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this day. Amen. That the Lord has blessed us with. And then we thank him for 55 years. Amen. For being with us, leading and directing us. Amen. Uh, I just don't know what to say. Amen. Amen. We we wrote to church this morning talking about, amen, how, how I was excited about what God is doing. Amen. And then today, God not only showed up, but he showed out. Amen. And then this preacher, this preacher, this preacher. Amen. Come on, let's 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 just bless the Lord for him. Amen. Let God restore him and continue to use him. Amen. Amen. He, he told me in the back, he said, Well, Pastor, if you ever need me to call me. And then he don't know what. <laughs> amen. Amen. We find a preacher like that. We just call him and call him and call him and call him and for some reason I don't know if because I've gotten older that when I call I expect them to show up <laughs> thank you pastor for blessing us amen thank you for you and your wife fellowshipping with us uh, on on today amen real quick I want to do something real quick amen I'm going to ask uh, for Deacon Morton, amen, if you come stand here at the altar, amen. Those that don't know, uh, Deacon Morton was a deacon at this church when I was a little boy at this church, when we was on Bricker Street, and he has been faithful, amen, faithful, and we truly, we thank God uh, for him. I'm going to ask Brother and Sister Franklin if you will come to the altar, amen. I met this this couple a few years ago, I don't know what, two, three years ago, and they have shown themselves faithful, and, and, and God uh, moved up on my heart to uh, just to use them more, and we've been using this couple, I mean, for our marriage ministry, and, and when we got ready, right before all of this came down, we was getting ready to open a location up, and we, we asked them at that time to help us out at that new location, amen, we didn't do it. Uh, but but I always uh, felt that God wanted more from him and more from his wife. And so today, amen, we're going to put him on trial, amen, as a deacon of the Crossing uh, Community Church. I didn't talk to you, amen, but, but, but I don't have to talk when God say do it, amen. I don't even have to ask you if you accept it. You got a year or two to prove, amen. Amen, that, that I didn't lie. <laughs> amen, amen. So we thank God for this couple. And, and I'm going to ask Minister Walker, amen, if she would come here and stand at the altar, amen, who is not the oldest member in age, but she's the oldest member of the church, amen. Amen. And what we want to do, we want to, uh, to recognize, amen, uh, you guys, amen. And I, I really wanted, amen, our matron, uh, our musician for years. But I, I, don't, I don't know, uh, Sister Heard probably, I don't want to say the wrong name. Pray, Sister Heard, come, 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 come on. Every, let's, let's give this lady a hand when, 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 when we, when I was a little boy at the church, amen, this, this was my matron, this was our matron, our musician, amen, because I was just going to say she's somewhere playing at a church still, amen, I didn't, I didn't want to give her age, but I know she's over 25, amen, <laughs> amen. Amen, amen. She, she, she's, she's 86, and she's still, and you're still playing for a church. Somebody, somebody said this lady was going around saying she was a member of the cross, and they had never seen her. That's because she still plays for a church. 
Amen. Amen. 86 years old. And we was planning to have something for you today, but we didn't think you could be here because she's so committed and faithful. Amen. She was, she was like that when we were little uh, kids going to the church. Amen. And she was our matron. And, and I remember her words. She said, don't ever, oh, hold it, let me make sure I got it right because I do remember it. Amen. She says, it's not how people treat you, but it's how you treat people that God is concerned about. And I never forgot that, and I've tried to live my life that way. Um, we have something for Brother Morton. Amen. Amen. And Sister Herd, I'm going to make sure we get it to you if we have to come over to your church and do it. Amen. I, I really wanted to, we wanted to call you. Amen. Can you get that? Uh, just, just present it to uh, Brother Morton. Yeah. Go, go ahead. You, you go. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. In special recognition and appreciation to Deacon Warren Martin, for 54 years of selfless, dedicated, continuous service to the Crossing Community Church and community in the spirit of love, faith, and excellence in Christ Jesus, presented this 25th day of April 2021 by the Crossing Community Church family. Amen. And at this time, we want to present Minister Walker with some roses. Amen. For her commitment and faithfulness. Amen. Who has, uh, has been my wife for 40-some years, so I know what she has pulled into the church. Amen. She has made me better. Amen. And so we thank God. Amen. For, for her. And Sister Heard, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, get your, uh, yo, yo, we got to do that. We appreciate you. Love you so much. Amen. And glad that you are here today. Amen. Amen. And to the Franklins, amen. We thank you. Amen. You joined the church, and it was like you had been here all your life. Amen. And then you and your wife. Amen. Even, what is it? I, I, I try to keep a count on a day. I think it's like about 390 days or something like that that we've been going through what we've been going through, and you have been faithful to the church. You never stop coming. And we want you to know that we appreciate it, and, and we are looking forward to working with you. Amen. The chairman of the deacon board, he couldn't be here today because he had to work, but he sent his blessings upon you. So we'll get more information to you. Amen. And okay, we're going to be watching you. You watch us, and, and we're going to see what the Lord is going to do. Let's give the Lord a big hand for all of our members. Amen. I'm going to ask, amen, because I think I've seen Sister Johnson Amen. Stan, who, who's been with the church from the beginning. Anybody else been with the church from the beginning? Amen. Amen. You, amen. Hey, Brother Sims, come, 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 on, come on up. Amen. Now, I'm going to show y'all somebody that's real special, that played a great part in my life, <clears throat> that actually taught me about life. Amen. When we didn't know how to buy a house, a car, this was a young man in the church that took us up under his wing, and so we want to we wanna do something special. So y'all going to have to come back to church next Sunday too. Amen. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know they was going to be here. Amen. He, he's the one that played a great part at the church. He was the businessman. He the one that knew how to make everything work. Amen. Amen. When we, uh, yeah, when we got our first building, amen, that's the man right there. Amen. And Brother Sims, we thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, because I don't think I would be the man that I am, the husband that I am, the father that I am, if it had not been for you. Thank you. Amen. Come on, let's give him a real big hand. Amen. This has truly been a, a, a blessed day. Amen. For what the Lord... Uh, said don't miss the moment. 
Amen. I just, I was just sitting there, and I think about this often about my own life, that my life has been such a series of sevens. When I entered the kingdom of heaven seven years later, the kingdom for God. Seven years later, I entered into marriage. Seven years later, we entered into pastoral ministry. And it just says I was sitting there. It's not just my, my sevens. There are our sevens. And we are in family. We are in our seventh seven. And I wanted to not miss this moment because in one year we'll be going into our eighth seventh. And that is the eight seven. Eight is the number of creation and new beginnings. And as, a, as our messenger was talking this morning, he said about we need to make a move, talking about the door not opening until we make a move. I just had to get up and say this, that individually and collectively, we're in a place of a new beginning, and we have got to begin, we have not, not begin, continue to move forward. It is, we have not missed a Sunday in the Lord's house. This happened in our seventh, seventh, and we've not missed a moment having the Lord's doors open so people from all over the city who have been looking for a house to enter into have been able to enter into this house. And I don't know what God is going to do next, but in 1966, we didn't see this. We didn't see this in 1989. So we don't know what God is going to do, but for us, we have to make sure we make the move we need to make so that the door will be open for the new thing that he is getting ready for this church, this family to walk into. And I don't want us to miss our moment. I don't want us to miss it individually. Don't miss your moment. And collectively, let's not miss the moment. He left us here because there's more. There's more. I, I believe God is doing something. She just handed me the mic and was finished. <laughs> Amen. We thank God. I thank God for Minister Walker. Amen. Awesome woman of God. On a sad note, on tomorrow at 10 a.m. will be the viewing, and 11 a.m. will be the service for our own Deacon Thornton, amen, who have fought a long battle with cancer, and he won the battle the other day. Y'all missed that. And so we are asking for your support and prayers for the Thornton family, amen. Pray that the Lord will bless that family and give them what they need in the time of need, amen. Uh, we ask that you would kind of spread the word to let people know that the service will be here on on tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Once again, we thank God for all of you. Crossing, we love you. We love you. We love you. You've done an awesome job. Amen. If you've been here the 55 years or you've been here five days, we thank God for you. Amen. Did, did I see Fern? Amen. I don't have good glasses, but... Uh, Amen. Just stand. Amen. That's the that's the musician daughter. Amen. Amen. And who have they played a part? Is this somebody else? I, I really can't see long distance. Is that you just who? All right. Let's give her a hand. Amen. <laughs> let's give everybody a hand. Give yourself a hand. Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God for you. We thank God for all of our visitors, members. We thank you, those who've been viewing with us. Amen. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our E-Church. Amen. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reverend, we thank you, sir. This, this, this is a God theme right here. Amen. God has put us together, and we thank God for him. Come on from the last words and the benediction. Let's give him a hand as he come. Amen, amen. 
Yes, yes, ma'am. Amen. 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 And we are so glad, amen, uh, that she's, she's here today. We thank you for bringing her. Amen. Y'all just don't know how these three people played an important part in our life. Amen. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't even know where, amen, I would be if it wasn't for these three people uh, here. Amen. There was a few others, but these three people who are here with us today, uh, we thank God for them. found uh, called him Uncle Harvey. That's what I found him. He, he can't be my brother. He, he older than me. So he, that, he's, that's Uncle Harvey. That's what I call him. Thank you, Uncle Harvey. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, we're getting ready to go, but as the, as the theme is going, I, many people don't understand what, what, what 55 is significant for. It is an amalgamation of 50 is the number 5. 50 is the number of Jubilee. Where all debts are canceled. <laughs> 5 is the number of grace. I need you to get something. This is the fourth Sunday in April, right? You have one more month until you see the 50th manifestation. What do you mean? Because on the fourth Sunday in May is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday is when the Holy Spirit fell and the church was birthed in the world. Uncle Harvey, by the time Pentecost hits, there are going to be signs and wonders in this church. And it's going to start with your wife. And to that, that God said that there's miracles in your hand. I hate you, Lord. There's a gift of healing in your hand. And the, and the enemy wanted to attack your body because you have to lay hands on the sick. Mm. I see something I see something burning in your belly the Holy Spirit has been bothering you even in your sleep even with dreams and visions God says the same way it happened on Pentecost signs and wonders your young men shall see visions old men shall see visions young men shall dream dreams your sons and daughters are going to prophesy I don't know who I'm talking to, but there are going to be five miracles that happened by Pentecost Sunday. I'm trying to go. I really am, but I have to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Five of you right now, you have to go to the doctor and you don't want to go. God says go because that's your moment. God's about to show up at the doctor's office. I hear you, Lord. There's one of you in here. The Lord says you won't have to have surgery. Because God's going to go inside and heal you from the inside out. Somebody shout signs and wonders. Let's stand. We're getting ready to go. Would you, would you would you do me a favor? We're gonna go. I know. Oh Lord, he he one of them preachers. Look, look down your row. 
look, look, look down your road. You ain't got to touch him because, you know, we, we can't touch him. You don't know the miracle that you're looking at. Mm -mm. You clap him, but, but, but you don't know they wrote a suicide letter. You, you, you don't know. You don't know. They, they, they cut the gas. They, they found the razor. They had the gun. You don't know. You, you, you're looking at somebody. You're looking. Y'all ain't looking at me. Look down your road. Somebody in here, people have been telling them to get out of that relationship. And the devil's had a hold on them. Today they get free from toxic relationships. Mm, my God. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, you said signs and wonders and miracles follow. And so, God, I thank you because you, you, you're not a man that you should lie. Neither are you the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, shall they not perform it? And so, I thank you, God, that these next seasons at the crossing church will be seasons of miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm cancer will be healed. Diabetes will be healed. The stroke will not kill them. High blood pressure has got to come in order. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the crossing church. Now God, do a work in this place. We thank you, God, that this is just the beginning and eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man what things you have for us. But thank you for your spirit, which shows us that what's to come is better than what's been. So, Lord, help us not to miss our moment. When you pass by, we're going to cry out as loud as we can until you hear us. Just like Jacob, we refuse to let go until you bless us. I speak in the name of Jesus that the rest of their week be the best of their week. That favor shall come from everywhere. Favor shall come from family, foes. Favor shall come from adversaries and allies. Favor from everywhere. We leave this place. We leave this place not missing our moment. And it is so. And it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name we pray.